Mobile device management can provide account provisioning and remote device management functions. When integrating with Global Protect Agent in Prisma Access, you will be able to start a new journey of security access with ZKNA 2.0. This video is from the Global Protect Mobile Device Management Series demo. My name is Terry Zhang. I am a technical marketing engineer from Prisma SAS IT. Today, I will walk you through the best practice to deploy Global Protect app using GEMF Pro. GEMF Pro is a comprehensive management system for Apple Mac OS and iOS devices. With GEMF, IT technicians can proactively manage the entire lifecycle of Apple devices. This includes deploying and maintaining software, responding to security threats, distributing settings, and analyzing inventory data. When integrated with Global Protect and the Prisma Access, you can use host information that the endpoint reports to enforce security policies for access to app through Prisma Access Cloud. You can also use the monitoring tools that are built into the Palo Alto Nextgen firewall to monitor mobile endpoint traffic. In this demo, we will briefly set up the global protected infra on Prisma Access. After that, we will use user-initiated enrollment to enroll a device to GEMF Pro. After that, we will prepare the global protected package and the script to GEMF Pro, create an MDM policy, execute it, and validate the results. First, Let's briefly set up a global protected infrastructure in Prisma Access Services. You will be able to configure global protect portal host name, set the app version, and integrate user authentication with various methods such as SAML, LDAP, or local users. In this demo, we already have global protected services set up in Prisma Access and won't cover detailed Prisma Access setup steps. You can automate device enrollment with Apple School Manager and Apple Business Manager via your organization's procurement department. If a computer is not part of Apple Business or School Manager, or if you need to re-enroll computers or devices for other reasons, user-initiated enrollment is a powerful solution. In this demo, we will enroll our endpoint via user-initiated enrollment. First, log in to GMF Pro enrollment page to enroll a device. While leaving, assign to a user blank so the device will be just put into inventory without being assigned to a user. Click continue to download CA certificate. Once the cert is downloaded, you will notice profile option appears in system preferences. Click Profile and install CA Certificate. Continue enrollment with downloading and installing MDM Certificate. Once MDM Certificates are installed, we finish device user-initiated enrollment. Switch to GMF Pro Portal to validate if the newly enrolled device is added to computer inventory. Log in to GMF Pro, click Computer Search Inventory Search. Then, locate the newly enrolled device. Navigate to Management Policy. There is only one policy in scope which updates device inventory triggered by device logging or recurring check-in events. The easiest way to retrieve Global Protect package is to log in to your GP portal. Click Download Global Protect Agent and the Download Agent for Mac. Next, return to GMF Pro. Click the upper right gear icon, choose Computer Management in the setting. Click Package and Add New. Name the package container and upload the Global Protect agent you just downloaded from GP Portal. Click Save and Review 
if everything looks right in the package container. Next, we will add a script to GMF Pro. This is just a simple global protector script which will check and set the portal URL in global protector plist. Please note, the script in this demo is for example purpose only, for customer to review and come up with their own for their environment. Palo Alto Network does not manage and provide scripts. Now back to all setting. Click Computer Management. Then click Scripts. Add a new script. Name the script container and copy the sample shell bash script into the script editor. The sample script checks for global and the user app preferences and populates with our global protector portal host name. Review the script, click save, and we are ready to move to MDM policy creation. You can combine multiple policies for application installation, update, reinstallation, delayed prevention, version control, and more. For this demo, we are creating a single MDM policy for the initial global protect agent installation. In the JAMF homepage, click Computer, Policies, then Add New Policy. Name the policy. We want to trigger the policy when the recurring check-in event happens. Check-in frequent can be configured from 5 minutes to 60 minutes. Then, we only want to execute the policy once per device and automatically rerun in the case the policy failed to execute. Attach the package script we created in the previous steps. Remember, we want to install the Global Protector app with plist configured before the app even gets installed. Force inventory to update in maintenance setting. Then navigate to Scope tab. Select the specific computers in the Target Computer drop down menu. Then click Add Deployment Targets. That you can create computer group for bulk configuration. Here in the demo, we are just going to add a static computer which we just enrolled for GMF Pro. Save the policy and it will be executed when the device checking in GMF Pro next time. Switch to the endpoint. Wait shortly and you will see Global Protect automatically installed and connect to our Global Protect portal. Type in demo user credentials and you are securely connected to Global Protect Gateway. Open Global Protector setting. You can validate that Global Protector portal is populated as how we scripted in GMF scripts. Last, return to GMF Pro dashboard. Locate our device. Click Management tab. You now see the MDM policy we just created is also in scope. Navigate to History tab. Check Policy Log. You can notice our MDM policy was just executed. Click Details. And let's take a look at the detailed action in our MDM policy execution. The first, run the script to configure the Global Protector P list and set default global portal as the host name we created in Prisma Access Security Services. Then it downloaded the and installed the GP packet to target the devices. Eventually, they ran the global protect agent at the end.
We are reaching to the end of the demo of deploying Global Protector using GMF Pro. We hope you enjoy this demo. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.